What's up YouTube? How's everyone doing today? Doing well here. Thank the heck out of you for asking. This is part four and the final part four of the little series of Ask Mikeyson, Get to Know Mikeyson. Got a page pulled up on Google. It's a hundred questions that you might ask someone just to get to know them. This is part four and we're going to end it with a good one. I haven't looked at the questions already. I don't know what's coming up. With, same with the other videos in the series. Don't know what's going to happen. We're going to wing it. So let's go. Question 76. Is there anything you wish would come back into fashion? Yeah. Uh, good entertainment. From music to movies to TV. And maybe some manners and some sense of humor. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? Um, probably an introvert. Which of the five senses would you say is your strongest? Is my strongest? Hmm. Probably vision, I guess. I don't know. That's a weird one. Have you ever had a surprise party that was actually a surprise? I think I think I had a surprise birthday party at one point. Uh, I can't really remember, but it seems like I have. I, it's hard to remember. I don't remember. Um, are you related or distantly related to anyone famous? I believe that we are very distantly related to Al Gore. Very distant. Uh, what do you do to keep fit? I ride my bicycle all the time. Uh, I'm not really fit. I am overweight. Uh, I do have some muscle. <laughs> Should I delete that? Anyway, I do have some muscle up under my fat. Uh, I could stand to lose some weight. I ain't gonna sit here and lie. But uh, to keep fit as I am, I ride my bike a lot. Does your family have a moto? Spoken or unspoken? A moto? Mm, not that I'm aware of. Mm, not that I'm aware of. If you were a ruler of your own country, what would be the first law you would introduce? I would introduce that everyone would have to ride a bicycle at least two weeks out of the year in order to keep their driver's license. That way they see what it's like to be on the road with inconsiderate motors. <clears throat> and that's just one thing. There's many things that I would do. Uh, let's see. Who was your favorite teacher in school and why? Uh, man, I have and it goes really back to elementary. Uh, I wouldn't. I didn't have like really favorite teachers in high school. It was just all kind of, eh, you know, everything was just kind of all over in high school. But uh, man, I had some good teachers in in elementary at Buchanan, uh, Buchanan School here in uh, Henry County, uh, from Mr. Don Wyatt to David Jackson, uh, Miss Hodges, Miss Miss uh, Edges. Whatever, uh, Miss Barrett, Miss Weatherford, uh, Mr. Melton, just uh, you know, good memories. And I'm I'm actually buddies uh, with a couple of them on Facebook, and you know, to this day I, I love and respect them. <clears throat> they were good teachers. Uh, what three things do you think of most each day? My marriage, my kids. And life and death. Probably money. Um, if you had a warning label, what would yours say? Don't get on my nerves. <laughs> what song would you say best sums up your life? Wait. What song would you say best sums you up? Um, I don't know. I don't know every song in the world. Uh, 
Man, I don't know. I don't know. You think of that one. <laughs> That's a strange one. What celebrity would you like to meet at Starbucks for a cup of coffee? Well, I don't care nothing about Starbucks, but okay. Uh, celebrity? That's a tough one. It'd be probably Harrison Ford, Tom Cruise, Michael Jackson, Prince. Yeah, I know it asked for one, but it would be somewhere in the, in those lines right there. Who was your first crush? My first crush? God, I don't know. Probably whatever hot chick I've seen in whatever Sears catalog when I was a kid. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you know, the, I don't know. I won't. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, on to question 90. What's the most interesting thing you can see out of your office or kitchen window? Well, I don't really have an office unless you just consider my desk here in my house. The kitchen window? Well, when I look out of that, I pretty much just see our carport with the cars there. So nothing really. On a scale of 1 to 10, how funny would you say you are? Probably an 11. Uh, no, I don't know. How funny can I be? Probably a 10 when I want to be. Uh, whenever I'm feeling good. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Hmm, that's kind of like where do you see yourself in 5 years? 10 years? I could be dead. Easy. High blood pressure, high cholesterol... I ride my bike on the road, get smashed. I mean, as far as where I live and everything, probably the same. So, what was your first job? My first job was working at Red Lobster in uh, Hickory Hollow uh, area in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. The dishwasher and uh, busser and did the floors and the bathrooms and all that kind of crap too. Um, if you could join any past or current mu music group, which would you want to join? Hmm. That's strange. Uh, current or past music group, who would I join? Hmm. I don't really know. Probably in sync. I like that kind of stuff. I like uh, however you want to classify your boy bands, I guess. Uh, I like that kind of music. Probably in sync. Stuff like that. Um, how many languages do you speak? I speak English. I speak a little pig Latin. And I can speak El Spanito. Uh, but that's about as far as it goes. I can sell. I can say El Spanito, and that's not even correct. So really, technically, just English and some Pig Latin. Does Pig Latin count? Uh, what is your favorite family holiday tradition? Uh, I thought we read that already. We're getting together for, like, the holidays. Who is the most intelligent person you know? Like, literally, like, in my day-to-day -day life, who do I know? That's intelligent? Well, I mean, everybody has some intelligence, so I don't know. Every, most people are pretty even when it comes to just your basic intelligence. Of course, everyone's going to be a little different if they take an IQ test. So, I mean, you can really kind of get twisted around on this question. I don't know. Mm, that's a tough one. Most people are on the same level. Really? Um, if you had to describe yourself as an animal, which one would it be? Used to, it'd be a silverback gorilla. Nowadays, it's probably more of just a laid-back sloth. <laughs> 
probably that. What is one thing you will never do again? Uh, shoplift. <laughs> yeah, I learned my lesson when I was young. Uh, who knows you the best? Well, you know, I've been married 26 years and I've been with my wife 27 years. You would think that she would know me the best, but I don't really know if she does. I really don't know. Who knows me the best? Probably my old work partner, Steve Arnold. If I had to, to just throw it out there, probably him. Uh, even though we don't, we, we're not around each other anymore and haven't been for years, but, uh, you know, uh, for 15 years we talked and opened up to one another and got to know one another and, you know, you talk about everything in the world that you can even imagine. So, probably Steve Arnold. So, guys, that's the end of this little series of videos. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you leave some comments in there about yourself your, on these questions. Ask me questions if you want. Uh, this has been fun. It's been interesting. Um, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I do all this for free. No monetization. No ads. No nothing. Uh, guys, enjoy yourselves. Have a wonderful, beautiful day, night week, month, year, and don't forget to get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for playing.